Good day, students. I am Sir Ray Almer Hindop, and I will be your practical research teacher for this semester. Now, this um, PowerPoint presentation or this video presentation is about preparation for creation of research paper or your research. I did this video so that you can have a little bit of guide and uh, say help in, before proceeding with your research paper because I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did way back in my college days on my undergraduate study. Now, let's proceed. Equipment. Uh, the equipment includes your laptop, your internet connection or your Wi-Fi, and also your cell phones. Your laptop is mainly uh, for the encode and input of the information and data that you needed for your research paper. With the use of laptop, it is more easier to input and encode those data and information. Your cell phone is a handy way to communicate with your research groupmates. Your internet connection is needed so that you can have access online on the directory and open access journals in the internet. You also need to prepare yourself. Preparing yourself because you might need patience, um, the skill, of being detailed and being technical. You also need to prepare for yourself so, so that you won't lose motivation and interest and interest in this endeavor. Now you also need to prepare your group mates because your group mates sometimes there are group mates who don't really do work or don't contribute to your research study. If you end up uh, if you end up being the leader sometimes you end up being the only person who does all the work for your research paper, which is not a good thing, okay? Collaboration is a must in research, whether it is within your group mates or with other researchers. Next. I included the reference document. The reference document is that sometimes we forget this. We need to save every references or bibliographies or the sources we took all those information in the internet or in the book um, let's re rephrase that one we need to save every references and bibliographies from where you took all those information and data that you put into your research paper because sometimes when we are almost finished with our research paper, we remember that we need to put the bibliographies. And sometimes we need to go back from the very beginning and go through all of them just to get the sources, which takes a lot of time. And that is very tiresome, okay? Now, don't forget to have a reference document or reference page. Next is, we have the APA documentation format in reference or bibliography and also in-text parenthetical citation. Uh, the APA documentation format in reference or bibliography and the in-text parenthetical citation, I believe, is uh, was already discussed to you in your practical research one. If not, let's have a little bit of review. This PowerPoint that I'm going to show you is from uh, Ms. Iris Billiones, LPT, also a research teacher. Now, let's have a little bit of review. Uh, the basics of preparing a bibliography or reference list. First, what you need to know is that the site includes the author's surname, first name, and middle initial. For example, this, is, this Castro is his last name. Then, J is his first name and also the middle initial. Now, you need to put the year of publication. Let us, for example, Castro JB in an enclosed parenthesis and a period. You need to put um, the year of the publication. This is very important because that sometimes there are researches or studies that are obsolete. For example, in my research um, paper, I will only allow you to have a five-year range. Like for example, today is 2020, therefore you need only 2016 to 2020 studies. Not later or not um what call this. Um, not 2014, not 2015, but 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020 publication year. All right. After that, the title is written with the first word. 
first letter or the first word capitalized. Now, let's say, for example, Custer JB2000, the title of his um, study or the book, let's say, The Evaluation of Speculation Education Programs in Angeles City. E is capitalized as the first letter of the first word. And only the proper nouns are capitalized. For example, Angeles City is a proper noun, and therefore A and C is capitalized. Next. After that one, if there is a subtitle, after a column, uh, see, for example, uh, the evaluation of speculation, uh, special education programs in Angeles City, column, then the subtitle, Trends and Issues in Developing Intervention Programs. So you need to put a column and then the Trends and Issues in Developing Intervention Programs. And then a column. Next, let's have the publisher, uh, the city where the book was published and also the publisher. Let's say, for example, this book was from Castor JB 2000 or published 2000. The evaluation of special education programs in Angeles City, colon, trends and issues in developing intervention programs. This is the, what we call this, the subtitle. Manila, Manila here is the city where it was published and then University Press. University Press is the name of the publisher. Next, sometimes when we do um, proper citations or the entries in the bibliography, we need to arrange them alphabetically and hanging intention. Let's start first, okay, alphabetically from the A and to, up to the Z. So A, B, C, D, E, arrange them alphabetically. Now, hanging intention style is, this is the paragraph intention. At the very beginning of the paragraph, or the first line of the paragraph, you have the invention. But this is the opposite, uh, the opposite or the reverse type of the hanging paragraph. Because in the hanging paragraph, all the lines, except the first line, has the invention. That's why it's called the hanging invention. This pastoral line, this one, this line here, seems to be hanging. So all other lines, except the first line, has invention. Okay, okay, uh, let's, uh, let's not proceed with that one because that is, this is the presentation of Miss Iris Williams. Okay, let's proceed with another one of her um, um, PowerPoint. Now, in-text parenthetical citation. The in-text parenthetical citation to cite references accurately, a researcher may present information taken from reference material using parenthetical citation. Okay, Parenthetic, parenthetical citation has two styles, the author not author name in text and author not named in text. The author name citation includes the author year format and the author is not indicated in the parenthesis. For example, before the idea, you need to put this according to blank uh, in the study of blank or the author blank. According to Santos, Santos is not inside the parenthesis. Uh, the parenthesis. So according to Santos, close uh, open parenthesis the year and then close parenthesis. So this is the author name citation, author year format. This is the author, this is the year. While the year is inside the parenthesis. When we say author not named citation, both the author, comma, space, and the year is inside the parenthesis. That's the difference between the two. Um, types. Now, if you take information directly from a piece, uh, a piece of information directly from a source, copy pasted it, you need to put a, um, what do you call this, the quotation marks. Um, the, for example, many students tend to develop social isolation because of parental neglect. This uh, statement is directly from a source and therefore you have to quote and quote that one and include the P when we say P is the page where it came from. So with this, according to Samsung 2003, many students tend to develop social isolation because of parental neglect. Page 25, that's, that is what's meant by the P, page 25, that's the page number. Next. Author, a work with two authors. Okay. 
when we are dealing with the same work of co-authors, say, uh, let's say it's a per, it's a partnership between the authors to create that specific study. So you use ampersand. Ampersand is this, this one, uh, and or uh, this one, and. So instead of saying Santos and David 2005, or uh, in the very beginning, you can use Santos and David open parenthesis 2005, close parenthesis, have presented one of the leading cause, etc., etc. While at the end of the idea, you can use Santos and David, comma, 2005, and then close parenthesis again, and period. So that's it. This is just a little bit of review. So if it's a work of three to five authors, you must use the word et al but retain the first author. Let's say, for example, instead of saying Santos, Wallen, Espiritu, and Diaz, 2001, TV programs, blah, blah, blah. You have to use Santos et al. Santos is retained, while Wallen, Espiritu, and Diaz is in here, the et al, meaning and others. Then dot al, al, al dot period, comma, and then the year it was published okay so don't forget those things so if a material has six or more authors the first author followed by it al will be used in all citation not only five three four or five but also with more authors okay so instead of saying um say uh hinda matildo Jorgeo, ardenio and let's say godal kiver you can use hinda et al Okay, directly. Now, um, work with anonymous authors. So I won't somehow in my in my classes. Okay, there is a baby crying in the background. In my classes, I won't be allowing you to use anonymous author because the validity or the reliability of those statements or those factual information that they um, offer is not really that strong. So let's skip this one. Mm -hmm. um, let's have with corporate author. When we say uh, corporate author represents a group of expert researchers or professionals publishing a material. To cite a corporate author, use the name of the group in place of individual authors. So for example, instead of using the name of the author here, and since he or she belongs to a group of authors or a corporate author, then you use the name of the organization. For example, instead of saying Hindap 2000, since let us say, for example, I belong or Hindap belongs to um, UNESCO, you use the UNESCO 2000. Okay? Then, author of two or more cited works. So, to cite various works of one author which were published in the same year, the research should distinguish them by adding a letter after the year of publication. Let's say, for example, same. Um, author of two or more cited works. For example, same author, but um, same year. So Rivera, two thousand two, a has claimed the Philippines were many. Ex there are many exotic plants in the Philippines. Then potential medicinal plants. Same Rivera, two thousand two. Then B. Okay. Then next, we have work with authors of the same last name. Mm. To cite authors with the same last name, the researcher must distinguish the work by using their initial. For example, uh, same last name but different person. Okay, so J Castro, J, let's say Joseph, and then S, let's say Samson. So the differentiate between Castro 2007 and Castro 2006, especially that they are of different names, you need to use the initial of their first name. So J, um, as initial J dot then. Castro 2007 assessed that special education programs in Angeles City, oh, that special education programs in Angeles City. In addition, S. Castro, which means a different person of the same last name Castro 2006, suggested an assessment before implementing any curricular programs in special children. Next, so let's say, for example, works of the uh, with authors of the same last name, so J. Castro 2007 and S. Castro 2006. Author name, author not name. Okay. Then two or more sources in a single citation. 
Let's say, for example, the same idea were proposed or concluded by many authors or sources. So using the alternate name in text format, the researcher should cite two or more sources in a single citation in alphabetical order and separated by a semicolon. Let's say, for example, Berkeley 2000 is a different study, Johnson's 2000 is a different author source or a study, and Wally's 2000 is a different study source or author. Yet they all concluded the same um, fact. Behavioral problems may have biochemical causes. And since they all said the same thing, you need to put them in the same idea. But you need to use the, um, uh, what do you call this? The surname or last name, comma, the year, and then a semicolon to separate them from another author. Then Johnson, comma, 2000, then another semicolon since there will be another author, which is Wallis, 2000, then. Uh, close parenthesis and then period. Okay. So two or more sources in a single citation. To cite using the author name in text format, the researcher should follow the author year sequence alphabetically separated by commas. For example, Berkeley, 2000, comma, Johnson, 2001, comma, and Wallis, 2000, have analyzed the possible biochemical causes of, of behavioral problems. So this is the author not named in text. Mm. So Berkeley, Johnson, and Wallis all have the same conclusion that or they all have analyzed the possible biochemical causes of behavioral problems. So yes, so citing indirect sources, the cite indirect sources indicate the original source, the information in the text and mention the source of that information in the parenthetical citation. The secondary source is listed in the reference list. So for example, Smith argued that behavior is functional and meaningful. So as cited in Berkeley 2000, um, 2003, page 225. So sometimes we use this as cited in Berkeley 2003 when, when Berkeley study or when Berkeley cited this recently, then it is by Smith. For example, Smith lived and published his work during or on 19, let's say 1999, which in my which in our case could be an obsolete study if it was not stated. But since it is cited in Berkeley 2003. And 2003 is a recent study or a recent book published, then it could, uh, it is still valid. Now, we have, okay, that's the end of Miss Iris or Mom Iris presentation. Let's thank him for allowing us to use his presentation, her presentation. Okay, so that's it. So next is prepare and learn useful software and websites. I particularly like this um, area because in here, I will be teaching you some of the um, useful softwares and applications and even websites. Now, let's first prepare and le learn useful software and website. Citation machine or site is for me. Let's go to the Chrome so that we can have the, uh, what do you call this, the uh, demonstration. Now, remember that we do the citations manually. We type the name, we type the year, we type the title, we type the subtitle, we type the um, city it was published and the publisher and even the page number or the volume and that will take a lot of time and sometimes we don't really memorize the sequence and where to put who or what. So we can actually use this one. Let's say cite this for me. Cite this for me and citation machine, citation machine acts like um, the, uh, they are a website that acts like the one who's going to arrange the, se in the, the sequence of making a proper bibliography. So let's just use the site this for me. And yeah, cite this for me, uh, my internet connection is not really that good. Takes a long time to um, load. So I'll be pausing a little bit of. Okay, so 
you have to click add reference mm -hmm. after adding the reference since most of us take our rrl our rrl and our sources online you need to click website after clicking website you will be directed in this page this page you can actually um, enter here the url of your research uh, or of the source where you take the url let's say for example um, agriculture agriculture let's serve this one national geography hmm. then this is the url remember this is the url of the uh, site where you take the information so you copy that one let's have copy or control c okay let's delete that one and then we paste up here paste as plain text or just paste then search after clicking search the system or the website will uh, search the rrl for you so that you can just click site after clicking site you will be directed to this page the page or the website will detect the author the article title the website the title the url and they could not find the publisher or the publication date so you click the continue after clicking the continue we will be directed to this page all of the information they detected will be here so let's say the year it was published is not 2020 let's say it is in the year uh, 2017 okay well 2017 then just click complete citation since it has the author uh, the the website detected the author the page title also the website name the publisher since it has author we can uh, uh, it's okay not to put the publisher just click complete citation after clicking the complete citation your bibliography is here but then you have to click here in the citation style APA 7th edition all right now where is that oh this this was the information here so let's copy copy this citation to your clipboard then let's go to our reference page then right click then paste now let's change a little bit of the uh, format let's say book antiqua since we are going to use book antiqua 12 then justify and remember as i told you that the bibliography or references that's uh, references here references it should be in a hanging indention format so the hanging indention is that if you can see here this inverted pyramid you just have to move that okay for to one this one two three so just one inch yeah so you have here your references then every time right if you enter this will be uh, somehow this will change the color and will have underlined to show that it is a hyperlink you just have to control z uh, press control z and it will be back to the normal and every time you take something from the uh you take something from the internet you can just um put the information you need in the cite this for me or citation machine and then let the cite this for me or citation machine do the arrangement of your APA format so it's much easier faster than when you're going to type all the information needed and arrange them yourself okay this is actually not oh yeah it's a, it, it, this is new okay let's proceed to the next um software the next software is plagiarism checker Let's say for example, okay, I will be using the plagiarism checker and you can use the plagiarism checker X to detect how plagiarized is your work. Remember that to avoid plagiarism, you don't have or you don't need 
to copy paste all the information that you took from the internet. Instead, you need to paraphrase and rephrase them. So let's say, for example, okay, let's go back to my desktop. There's my desktop. In my desktop in the research area, I have here the plagiarism checker X. I'll be opening the plagiarism checker X. Let's say, let's go back here to the um, internet and then you search agriculture. And then after searching the agriculture, you saw some of, the, some of the information and then you just copy pasted it. And sometimes even this, okay, you copy pasted it. After copy pasted, uh, after you copy paste, you just, let's say, put it into your um, research paper, which is a very bad thing because you need to rephrase them. So in here, if you pass me your paper, I will copy all the information that you put in your paper and then run them through here. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, online plagiarism. Okay, okay. in the online plagiarism, this is the sample text. Let's delete that one. Let's say, for example, I pasted here your work. And then after I click analyze it, the system or this software would actually detect how plagiarized is your work. And as you can see, the similarity of this sentence is 100% plagiarized from bonabethy.in and brainly.in, which means these are all plagiarized. You didn't paraphrase or rephrase this one because word for word that is a hundred percent copy paste and that is not a good characteristic or good thing in your research i can even view the summary then after viewing the summary see it's all 100 percent plagiarized nothing is unique since you just copy pasted your work okay so that's for the online plagiarism every time that you passed me the research paper, I will be scanning them through this software and grade them based on your output or the plagiarism factor. Okay, let's exit the program. Let's go back to the, okay, there's a child in the background. Okay, let's go back to our websites and softwares. Now we have, okay, that's a wrong spelling, that's just Sci-Hub, that's Key-Hub, okay? Sci-Hub, Sci-Hub.tw. Let's go to the um, Chrome or the browser. Sci-Hub is a good thing. Why? It's because, see, if you look on the Sci-Hub to remove all barriers in the way of science. Let me show you. Let's say, for example, you go to Google Scholar. When you go to Google Scholar, there, then you wanted to look for any information that you needed, and then sometimes you need to pay money. So let's have, let's say, drug addiction or agriculture, in a sense. Transforming agriculture, that's 1964. Let's have, you can actually custom range them from 2014 to 2020. Okay. Let's say, okay, climate, uh, climate uh, smart agriculture for food securities. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to have this or read this um, study, and yet you have to pay a subscribe a subscription of 62, that's 6200 euro or what? Or $8, 8.99 or $9 rent or buy the article. Somehow, you can actually bypass this um, paying. You don't need to pay. You have to copy paste or copy the URL. Copy. Then you just have to paste them here. After pasting, you click open. And Sci-Hub would remove all the barriers for you to have a little bit of access in here. Okay, let's change our video. Yeah. Also, okay, let's wait a little bit. Also, if, let's say that this paper 
is now a source for your information uh, for the information that you needed let's say for example you run this all and now you take some of the information here to be put in your research paper if you can see in this part there's uh, let's i don't know why there's a girl waving in there that's creepy now let's copy after copy you go to the reference because that is a reference then right click and paste and voila done you have done your reference okay so yeah instead of paying how much was that that's nine dollars nine dollars in philippine peso is around um 400 450 yeah 450 so using sci-hub.tw you can actually just bypass that type of security and open the um file or the research paper without paying for anything now another thing is that uh let's go back to the okay aside from that is we have the google scholar and other open access journals and free literature sources online when you look for a study don't look in just about anywhere in the internet especially in wikipedia if you go to wikipedia you need to go to the sources so that you can click the primary source or the primary source url so you take the um information you needed from the very source where wikipedia actually took it from now i have here a list um where was it let me find it ah yeah it's still here let's have it okay we have google scholar google scholar and other open access journal aside from google scholar we have this open access journals and free literature sources online here's a list we have core core or core then we have science open directory of open access journal doaj i personally use doaj and then education resource information center rcd print among all other free online access journal or open access journal we also have this um other sites it is much better to search or look for your urls here because let's say for example in the google scholar let's go back to google scholar okay google scholar let's say for example that this transforming agriculture uh, traditional agriculture study should be cited in your um, research paper let's say you used the conclusion of this study so that you can um so that you can have part of the rrl in your study so in order for you to cite this one you just have to click that one okay let's have okay let's zoom in okay that's too much now click site after clicking the site you will be there uh, you will um, a pop-up message would be here for MLA format, we have the APA format and also the Chicago based format, Harvard based, and also the Vancouver. For example, you used, okay, there's a dog in the background. Never mind them. So, APA, let's just copy and then go back to your reference, references, then paste the reference. So, uh, actually, I would not allow you to use this one because this is 1964. So, find any researches that stated salts 1964 so uh, in a recent study so that you can have it valid okay so the use let's say for example that is from 2020 that would be better because 2020 is a recent study but since it's 1964 i will detect this um study in the um citation or, or in the plagiarism checker x so don't use obsolete researches okay so that's it so let's go back to the normal ah, there it is now so there's a lot of study for example just like um agriculture typing the keyword agriculture gave me four million nine hundred fifty thousand results so you don't have any reason to say or uh, there's no researches on that certain study or the study that you are doing because let's say for example what would be the absurd let's say ghost ghost i don't know if you are going to 
<laughs> study ghost. But even if it's ab as absurd as ghost, there's still researches, 1,400,000. So don't tell me that your research is uh, can't be found or there's no related articles in the internet for, for that. Okay, so okay, let's proceed. Let's go back. Okay, so this is the um, these are the open access journals. You can access them in the internet. That's why you need one of your equipment is to have the internet. Okay, so good luck with your research paper. I hope you will be prepared well enough. And also, if you have any questions, you can write them down below in the comments or since you are in my Google Classroom, you can message me there through my email or in the classroom itself. So God bless you all. Praise be Jesus. And